Hey folks, hope you're all doing well and welcome to episode 43 of Recommend an Album to Review. Alright, so for this week I got a pretty interesting record from a very talented composer, guitarist, pianist, a gentleman that you may have heard of. His name is Trevor Rabin, probably most famously known for his participation and with yes on the 90125 record but he's been involved with a lot of projects since he's originally from south africa he had some projects there and then he moved to la and uh he's just one of the guys sort of one of the go-to guys for composing like musical scores and such he's been involved with so many projects he's just a real real master musician and the album I want to talk about today is his most recent studio record, came out in 2023. The album is called Rio. Alright, so on this album you've got Trevor Rabin, of course, lead vocals. He's actually a really, really good singer. Uh, you probably know that if you listen to the some, yes, yeah, amazing vocalist. Uh, lead vocals, plays guitars, bass, keyboards, banjo, dobro, mandolin. Uh, then you have Charlie uh, Bish, uh, Bisharat, plays violin on one track, Push. Vinny Kaliuta, very well-known drummer, also plays uh, on Push, on the drums, of course. Uh, Liz Constantine, uh, backing vocals on Big Mistakes and Paradise. Uh, Lou Molino III, plays drums, percussion, backing vocals, and backing vocals on Paradise. And then Dante Marchi. Uh, does backing vocals on Big Mistakes and Paradise. So this this record, um, it's got a lot of different uh, influences in it. Um, you know, there's there's some definitely some rock. There's some prog. There's even like a little bit of fusion. There's some country in there. There's some South African, uh, you know, sprinklings in one particular track. I mean. Um, the, and that's what makes this record really interesting and every song on this record sort of has its own identity you know what i mean it's not like one record or sorry one track is going to sound the next like the next track and even in terms of instrumentation you'll hear different instruments on one track to the other the arrangements are always you know surprising and and unexpected you know he'll he'll he he does he does this and i i really love when artists do this when they sort of go from one genre to another like within the same song like you'll hear there's one song in particular you know you'll think oh it's this kind of song and then it'll have turned into like a heavy rock track and then kind of bounce back and forth so um just a really um a really good listen a really interesting listen you know and there's always something to pick uh pick the ear up there's no listener fatigue on this at all it's all very very interesting all right so let's go through the tracks all right, the first track, Big Mistakes, what a, I mean, I'm sure this must have gotten radio play. I don't really listen to the radio anymore, and the record did come out in 2023, but this has got radio hit written all over it. It's just a really, really good song. Got some nice beefy chords, some beautiful uh, melody in it. Just catchy as hell, you know, probably, well, of all the tracks on here, definitely this is the most commercial track on this and i'm not in a negative way it's a really really good song big mistakes is killer all right the second track on here is push at just under seven minutes this is probably my favorite track on here um it's super proggy um it starts off proggy and then it kind of mellow you know calms down a little bit and you know and a beautiful vocal again from trevor he's got a fantastic voice and then it it, it gets into some really really cool prog stuff but melodic you know kind of the same way you know same way that genesis kind of you know has their proggy moments but always you know keep 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 some melody and some some interesting harmony within there you know to 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 grab the casual listener i guess so it'll be like prog for the casual listener you know um, probably the best way to describe it. Just, just really, really good, man. <laughs> you know, and, and what's great about these songs and there's, you know, there's a lot going on in a lot of these songs, but they're all pretty much, I don't think there's really anything on here longer than seven minutes. So they're all coming a very, uh, you know, very concise, very tight package, but yeah, push just, man, what an amazing song. Um, the, the, there's so many elements to it. So interesting and still there are a lot of hooks to it as well simultaneously. So just, you know, 
A1. Love that song. Then you got Oklahoma, another killer track. I mean, three for three so far. Um, it's very moody, uh, sets a really nice atmosphere, kind of, you know, uh, calm, but there's on edge. You know, he sets this, you could tell he's a film scorer because this this song could have easily been on the soundtrack to a movie. Um just just beautiful it's all about the oklahoma city bombing that's that's the you know what the lyrics are about so it's kind of a very pensive type of you know uh moody kind of atmospheric that's what i'm looking for type of song but still still really good hooks uh really interesting just a beautiful arrangement i mean this guy's just off the charts (laughs) it's just you know master musician you know, with all the all the abilities, all the tools, and just using them, you know, uh, in in a very nice manner on these three tracks, Oklahoma, another killer song. All right, then you got Paradise. Now, this has got a real pop country vibe to it, but the best version of pop country, because I'm not a fan of pop country, but I do like this tune. Um, you know, just the playing on it is fantastic. There's a really nice, um, Trevor, uh, Rabin is a big fan and, and he did this with yes as well, where he does a lot of like, um, vocal harmony stuff. And, uh, on the tail end of this, they do some really beautiful vocal harmony stuff. So even though it's not a genre that I typically like, it's done so well on this track when I'm speaking of the pop country thing. Um, but it's done so well on this track that even I, I, I can enjoy it. So that's Paradise. Thandy, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, is the next track. Um, one of the heavier tracks on this, there's some really aggressive guitar, you know, on this, uh, and there's a killer guitar solo on this. But again, there's that juxtaposition. You've got the sort of the, the heavy guitar bits, and then it, you know, it kind of mellows out a little bit and almost... Sounds like a little bit of a different, uh, yeah, well, still a rock genre, but just a very subdued part, and uh, I don't even, I guess the chorus part kind of subdues, and then it gets heavy again, and then there's a ripping solo at the end, so it's just nice to hear, I mean, Trevor's an amazing guitar player, it's nice to hear him let loose, and he does so on this song, so for that reason, I really dig it. The next track, Goodbye, now there's some really impressive country chicken picking guitar on this he's really digging in it sounds fantastic the guy's so damn good so you've got that part going on and then uh when it gets to the chorus it turns into a rock song and then it comes back into a chicken picking song and it's kind of bouncing between the two genres right and just does it seamlessly and it's again it's arranged in such a manner that it just everything just flows beautifully so uh but it man him digging in on that chicken picking on this sounds fantastic then you got tumbleweed now there's a lot this is just a really an exercise in vocal harmonies because there's a lot of harmonies in it and from what i understand it's pretty much only his voice that he just over um overlapped his own voice or, or overlaid his own voice to get you know for the different chords and harmonies and such um not one of my favorite songs though because there's not a lot going on i mean the harmonies sound great and all but it's just there's you know it doesn't have that energy and it's maybe a little too on the mellow side for me but um but yeah that's tumbleweed then you have these tears um almost sounds like an alan parsons project type of track on this one a lot of you know a lot of reverb a lot of breathy vocals kind of thing you know um but it, it's 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 an okay song. It's not bad. Um, not one of my favorites on here, but uh, it does have a nice melody, and the vocal on it is really really good. Then you got Egoli. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. Egoli. I think it sounds like that. Anyway, this one's got a real South African kind of uh, in the in the rhythms in the song and the backing vocals. It's got that South African sort of flavor to it, you know um it's it's a pretty good song it's kind of an up-tempo song um yeah i don't really much what else uh, what much else to say about it so but it's a pretty good track e-goalie uh i think that was that jeff beck garage i think that was the name of the record that instrumental anyways um 
but yeah, really good track, Toxic. I mean, the guy's an amazing, amazing guitar player. So I, I like the fact that, you know, he's really stretching out on this one. So there you go. So what do I think about the album? I think the this album is pretty damn good. I mean, um, you know, like I said, every song has its own character, its own vibe. You know, the instrumentation changes from song to song. The genres change. The genres change within a song. You know, there's all those elements that I mentioned earlier. You know, there's some prog. There's a little bit of fusion. There's some rock. There's country. It's all kind of, you know all happening simultaneously um so which makes it very very entertaining you know to the ear um you know you don't ever get any type of ear fatigue it's always like hey you know, that's cool oh look that's cool you're always kind of surprised as you go through the record um i really dig it um i would mm, if i was to rate it out of five I, I this would probably be about a four for me you know just the the level of musicianship the, the the craftsmanship of the songs like i mentioned the arrangements the the compositions themselves some really sophisticated hooks and melodies in this thing i mean you know you're listening to you know music created by i'm you know a master musician and it and it's it shows all throughout this, you know, all throughout it. Even the production, I didn't mention the production. The production on this is, is is really, really good as well. So it's all, you know, everything has its space and it's all very clear and, and, and so on, not cluttered whatsoever. Everything has its sonic space. It's really well done. So there you go. Thanks for watching. So if you're new to the channel, please consider liking and subscribing. And the way this show works is every Thursday at 7 p.m., I uh, do one of these shows and in the comments uh, you folks are kind enough to suggest records for me to do the following week so my criteria is pretty simple one album not double albums just a single album something that and an album that I haven't already covered on the channel one one way or another so thanks for watching have a great rest of your week and we'll see you soon Blah. see you soon <laughs> cheers